Hi, I'm Kenzo. I'm the lead character artist at Hellbent Games. Hi, I'm Baron. I'm a gameplay engineer at Hellbent Games. And this is going to be our first look at Deathfire today. Uh, we're going to go uh, into some gameplay and we're just going to talk over it. So you're playing Deathfire in this one? Yeah, I'm. I'm I had the privilege of sweating against you guys. And... <laughs> No, yeah, he's really fun. Um, I, yeah, I mean, I go into, I transform right away, and then I go into uh, drift mode mm -hmm. because I want to, yeah, start. So that's going the big from thing. Going station to station right away. That's the big thing with Deathfire, right? He has the two modes that you can swap between. Yeah, he's so much faster in drift mode, so then I can. Uh, it just makes it, uh, and I have my cooldown. Um, well, it's not on cooldown. You can just use it whenever you want. Um, Aside from you saw there when I hit the team, it goes mm -hmm. on a, a small cooldown. Right, there's like a recalibration yeah, yeah. Home, or time after you hit someone. And that's so that you can't like just immediately transform and, and track them down Follow or ahead, shock yeah. them. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly yeah. Gives them a little bit of grace. Yeah, <laughs> right after the celebration, it gives them a little bit of a time to get away from uh, Deathfire. Right. Um, yeah, you just see me. Yeah, I, I lost that person after I hit them. Um, yeah, I'm playing against like Ross and you and Sean, so uh, and Ali, and so all really good players. <laughs> uh, yeah, I heard something here. I'm just scanning stations and trying to find people. I was lucky here to catch that glimpse because yeah, it, it can be pretty difficult to find people uh, once you get to the station if you're scanned too far or you're hard to talk. Right. I, I had a really good start in this game, at least. So that shock that you just did, um, if you hit someone, you hear them. Uh, yeah. So it's easy to tell if you if you hit somebody or not, right? Yeah, uh, there's also a mutation that uh, reveals them if you shock them. Uh, I do like to run that. In this run, it's a base kit, so we're not. I'm not having it running any mutations right. on this one. But right. um, yeah, if you want a little bit more information on top of the screen, then you can use that mutation. Right. Um, yeah, I, I I tried to shock there to uh, stop them from vaulting, but I didn't time it quite right. But... Right. So if you get shocked as a team, you can't you can't vault, you can't attack. You're and you're slightly slowed as well, right? Yeah, you yeah. can't do most actions. Um, you can still crouch, but yeah, you can't use your weapons. You can't uh, use any pickups. Uh, you can't vault, which is a big one. So yeah, it it. it it's used as a gap closer, uh, at least for me. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I like to use it that way. Some people like to use it, use the three shocks mutation. Um, mm -hmm. So you get three uh, instead of two, but that means you can't hit unarmed teens. Right. Um, so then it's not a gap closer at all. It's just no. a, a sort of combative type of yeah. ability. Yeah. That's a good mutation mm -hmm. to be used in the mid game and like end game. Uh, early game, you want to find teens and down them as soon as possible. Here, I shock. I hear them crafting you hear upstairs, the crafting. Yeah, yeah. so I just shock them to stop them from crafting. I won't mm -hmm. be able to get to them right away, of course. But right, you're just yeah. disrupting the the craft. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you hear the staff? I think that's me. I think I built a lot of staffs. Okay, you get this was nice. Freaking close. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sean is sneaky. Uh, yeah. The second you hit him, you will just never stop running away from you. <laughs> and just try to go for another ambush play, but cool. Yeah, I have a lot of um, tools here to find out if they're setting up ambushes. I try to right. shock multiple people to make sure that I can get to this person without right. feeling threatened. But then you, I let you with the yeah, that's me. That's me. This yeah. was fun. I was trying to like fake dropping down here and yep. using the drift back to. Yeah. Yeah, this was fun. So if you hit maximum speed when you're in vehicle mode, or sorry, drift mode, um, if you hit, no, it's not maximum speed. It's like almost maximum speed, right? Yeah, um, yeah. You'll see the slide available at the top of the screen, and then you can input a, a vector that's, what's the range for like the back uh, slide? Um, what's the range, sorry? Yeah, yeah. So like, you you input an opposite direct uh, a vector of oh, where, where right. you're going. Yeah, yeah, it's about seventy-ish degrees. Uh, you can do a maneuver behind um, you, right? Behind 70 you, degrees yeah, behind or, you. or forward, uh, whichever direction you were traveling before. If right, you right. input the other direction, that includes you rotating the camera also. 
right. um, then you'll do a little diff, drift, uh, which is a, uh, it's a good, you'll see me use it at the end there when you guys have two beam weapons at the end of the game, I suppose. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it's, it really throws teens off. Uh, I love to use it and I worked on it a whole bunch. So yeah, I'm a big fan of it. <laughs> It's so much fun. It, it's yeah. so much fun. It has so much utility too, like defensively, offensively, just to just to um, sort of waste ammo or check corners quickly. It's it's really really fun. But and it takes a lot of um, skill to use effectively. I think when I first started using it, um, I was just running into weapons constantly because I was just trying to use it well. Yeah. Um, no, oh, I know. It's a, it's a high skill ceiling ability. Yeah. Um, I think our community is going to make a really good use of it. Um, yeah. I'm very excited to see what they're going to do with yeah, it. Yeah, it's going to be really cool. I just, I love his kit. Uh, they, there I get um, ambushed and, and die, but I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. Um, so that's, I think, a good example of some of Deathwire's weaknesses, right? Like he's, he's really good at um, sort of shutting down zones like there right like yeah. if that was an ambush he can shut down ambushes really easily um but he he gets a lot of um sort of s uh, false confidence sometimes because he's like okay i shot totally. this corner i shot this corner but if you yeah. miss those skill shots then sometimes you can run into situations that you thought you were prepared for but you really aren't so like learning to to sort of place your shocks and your scans in the right places at the right times is kind of part of his kit right Absolutely. Uh, I think we had a few games with you where I scanned like right to the left of you, <laughs> shocked right to the right of you. Yeah. And I, I just figured like, okay, I'm perfectly safe. Going to try to capture this rift. Um, yeah, and then came out and killed me. Yeah. There I shocked to make sure that they can't vault. Um, I really liked that interaction and I completely whiffed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> turns out even a cool monster can help me aim better. <laughs> um, here I'm I'm in the open, I'm in the arena, so I want to be a little bit more agile. Mm -hmm. So I go into uh, drift mode there. And I notice, I, hit it. I notice when you're in vehicle mode and you attack, it takes a little bit more time. That's right. Because you have to transform out of vehicle mode uh, in yeah. order to attack, right? Yeah, if you see uh, that fire, and uh, of course I have team mode. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I thought I was safe here. There was someone behind you. Yeah, shot yeah, yeah. and hit me with that <laughs> one bullet at the end. Um, no, it's a lot of fun and I love his emotes as well. Oh yeah, so um, yeah, in vehicle mode his arms tuck away and then they become boosters. So mm -hmm. you're, you, don't, you can't use your arms while in uh, drift mode. Um, which means if you're gonna attack, you can click like attack out of it, but you will have that extra period of time where you have to transform out of the vehicle mode, the drift mode. I keep saying vehicle mode, and then uh, and then you hit hit the team. But mm -hmm. uh, this was <laughs> I, I'm like trying to be not predictable because I see you have a Molotov, so that was like a fun little dance we did. I guess <laughs> I tried to use the pop and and just go around in circles and see what you would do, um, and you just stood there and watched me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I figured you was gonna you were gonna use the pop and then run away. I and didn't. Then chuck I didn't them feel off. confident enough at any point to chuck them all off. <laughs> so well, I used yeah, the pop and then drifting, panicked. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. A little dance. So this is like cheeky. Yeah, yeah this I was is trying to get you there. Kind of hard to for me to engage, but I'm able to use my shocks and I tried to fake out all of your molotovs out of your hands. Uh, I found it's difficult to play against uh, Deathfire when you have projectile-based weapons that just from yeah. shot and Molotov. Yeah, um, totally. It's not impossible, I'm sure people are gonna land many, many hits on him. He has, he's more agile than, um, like if you were to compare it to, oh yeah, we can talk about Okay, that yeah, that's it. Too. Yeah. Um, yeah, what I did there is uh, I, I had eight hits. Uh, which is the number we're using for uh, how many hits you need to get another plague. Mm -hmm. And then I reached into the a tear in the beyond and I grabbed a random one. Um, luckily, I got an agony so I can kill Sean faster. So I'm like, not camping, 
but I'm making sure he's he bleeds out as much as possible. Yep. Um, yeah, that's a new mechanic we added for the game. Yeah, and so you can see at the bottom, the counter's now down to zero out of eight again. So the next eight hits are going to be building up towards your second plague as well, right? That's right. And I'll get another random one. Uh, you can still bring a plague. Uh, so oh, that'll that's be the one bad... you start the... <laughs> sorry, sorry. That's a bad mutation to use against Deathwire for sure, because he can Call just see you and, yeah, yeah. and shock you, right? Definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I didn't even see the weapon in their hands uh, when they were trying to absorb. Who was that? That's Ross? Uh, yeah. Ross, yeah. Ooh, good scan. It's so satisfying when you're playing Deathwire and you get yeah. like all 14s in one sh in one scan or something. Yeah, our sound designer did a fantastic job there. Those dings just feel so satisfying. Just go ding ding. Mm -hmm. When you get four, oh. Okay, so you're chasing here. It's always terrifying to chase against you guys, but yeah, I'm able to have like a little bit more confidence. I feel, uh, yeah, confidence when I'm pushing him. Here, this is <laughs> somehow I missed that purple beam, and then I'm <laughs> on Ali. Uh, Ali, Ali really didn't want us to use this video. He's very that. happy about us using. It. He's sitting behind me over here right now, <laughs> and I can feel his gaze. No, I'm so sorry, Ali. <laughs> Cool, so you, you used the uh, scan there to not only check that upper station, but you purposefully lined it up with the other stations behind it to get like maximum value out of the scan, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, there's a few situations where I will go, yeah, I will um, go to a station and then try to line up as many stations as I can because it's an across the map ability where we go all the way down the map. So, right. um, yeah, get as much information as I need in that scenario. Mm -hmm. So I, here I've hit um, Ross five times, and this will be the sixth time, and he dies here. Mm -hmm. um, but you'll see further in the game, I'll hit people more than six times, and they won't die. Mm -hmm. And then we'll showcase another feature we added recently. Mm -hmm. I'd also like to point out on uh, Deathwire's forearm, when you when you kill or you hit yeah. any uh, teens, his forearm comes up and he has a little display there that shows how many teens are alive. and and we just killed Ross, so there's a little <laughs> X through his through his head, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Here I'm checking my corners and trying to be, you know, trying to make myself a difficult to hit target. Mm -hmm. Here I heard the someone opening the lockbox. Is that uh -huh. you? So I was opening the lockbox and Ali was outside, <laughs> and he was really angry that that he found that you found him there. Because yeah, he wasn't he... even the one opening the box. <laughs> well, you know, lesson learned. Don't try to open the box without a weapon. It's true. It's true. Ali learned a lot of lessons in this game, actually. Uh, I, I think. Was he alive for that one? Maybe. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's gonna love this. Uh, <laughs> love this video. Oh man, poor Ali. See here, of course, they res Ross. Even if you kill him, he's back. Um, yeah, so, so you can look at his portrait and it looks a little different. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, he's a zombie, obviously, but also we, we see this new uh, icon. I guess you didn't want to you didn't want to use your weapon there. I think we didn't have a kill weapon, so I'm just trying to yeah, yeah, buy as much time. Yeah, so Here, just... I'm trying to learn the map. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Ross, yes. So that's uh, that's the new status effect that we have in the game. After you get hit six times, you're you're no longer able to heal yeah, or be you're healed. Busted. You're busted. Um, mm. The only exception to this is that you can be healed by an. Oh staff. my goodness! What a yeah, shot! That, that felt good. That was a good I don't shot. know what that. What is. was that punch? <laughs> don't worry about it. It was a good shot. Let's go back to. Okay, okay. <laughs> you gotta balance it out. I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I think I saw a chair. I was like, "Oh, there's someone else hiding here." Nope. That was it. That was a good shock, though. And that's that's a cool thing about Deathwire oh that God. I think 
none of our monsters, other monsters have, right? It's that, yeah. that predictive skill shot sort of thing. Oh, this is, this is so unfortunate. Yeah, I get I this completely stun. messed up. Um, yeah, go ahead. Uh, I get the stun and then Sean only had one shot left on the sword so he couldn't finish it up. It's a critical moment in the game, I think, because yeah. that's two weapons wasted there. Totally. And Ross is busted, and I'm injured, and uh, Ali's... Uh, well, I mean, he's been dead most of the game, so... <laughs> <laughs> this whole video is just a diss on Ali. It, it is, it is. <laughs> he doesn't deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> Ali just joined us. Um, he's more of a recent employee, so we put That's him true. in the game. He's good though, he's good. He's really good, yeah. yeah he's good. For the amount of hours he has, he's been really good. <laughs> yeah, he, the Ross also just uh, used his dancing spark sunstone and he threw it down that window and it actually landed right in front of me mm -hmm. doing all that. So it was like mm -hmm. a very chaotic moment for me. I'm yeah, glad yeah. I have this time to just cruise around and see what I can do. Like, he can, you can use that time with the drift mode for sure. It's, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a good thing. This is a good showcase of the map too, like, the environment team did such a good job on this map, it's, it's really great. Okay, here, uh, who's, Ross was who's running that, that was, stone. That was Ross on the other side, and yeah. I screwed up because I was on push to talk because my baby was uh, yelling in the background, and I was frantically pushing push to talk to, to tell Ross to start firing it, but I was yeah. pushing the wrong button, I was just pinging no. over and over again. <laughs> yeah, um... I don't know what I was thinking pushing there. I get a little lucky, for sure. Yeah, for sure. I was hoping to just charge the staff in safety. Um, uh, and and that's, a, that's an interesting dynamic that the busted status adds to the game, uh, where at the end, we're not able to just continually push kill weapons over and over. Yep. I mean, if, if Holy was a, a, the final station, then maybe, but with the busted status, um, we really have to balance like crafting staffs in order to try and heal ourselves, uh, and we do a pretty good job here. But um, it yeah, it adds a, another level of uh, sort of decision making that the teens have to make because um, you have to if you want to heal yourself and stay alive yeah. at the end of the game, you're going to be building staffs, right? Exactly, and that gives me. Um, well, this is a longer game for sure, mm -hmm. but. Uh, it would have been much longer if it wasn't for the busted status because totally. I'm able to. Um, I think I would have lost the game too if it wasn't for the busted status, mm -hmm. frankly. Because I'm able to put more pressure on you guys. You are not able to craft kill weapons. So then it gives me more time to um, to reset and then come back, right? Because totally. Uh, like mentally, because his kit is actually really versatile. His cooldowns are not as long. Um, so you're able to push, 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 but. Uh, sometimes you need to approach it from a different perspective. Yeah. And, and you guys go on hat like you ha you have to craft holy stuffs during that whole time. So I'm like, okay, I have a little bit of a breathing room here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, totally. Helps psychologically as well. Mm -hmm. And that's that's if we want to heal at all. Like we have the decision to to sort of play the rest of the game busted and, having and that, injured yeah. um but that's a huge risk for us to take so like yeah. the balance of the decision making there is really fun for sure yeah it's it's something the teens have to play around and it's something the monster has to think about too mm -hmm. um now i'm i'm going and scanning more holy stations now i'm i know that there's like okay ross was busted um mm -hmm. is is still busted um currently he's healed so right i know that he's been healed by his staff and yeah i'm thinking mm -hmm. about all these things I'm trying to find someone here, I guess I heard Yeah, something. it looks like you're really convinced someone is here. Yeah, that happens to me sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe I was there. I mean, you weren't that far. Yeah. Um, you guys walk away very efficiently. Mm -hmm. You do that thing where you go... Tick, 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 tick. You feel a little bit of running, a little bit of walking. Yeah, yeah, a little, a little sidestep here and there. This environment is so, so, so cool. The, the idea with it, uh, if, if it isn't clear yet, is that there's these uh, sort of small arenas within this larger game show um, where they film this uh, 
this futuristic messed up TV show where people like fight to the death basically against yeah. robots uh, called the eviscerator uh, and so like you're seeing sort of the behind the scenes of the production there's like a broadcast room and this is like the medical Med bay, bay where they take care of uh, mostly the robots I think because they don't care about the people <laughs> but that's not true there's there's people in there and stuff there's um, people. did you see uh, the x-rays on that med bay yeah, yeah, yeah. You see all the broken bones and stuff. This is like the Champions Arena, so I think this is more like a, um, not not Champions Arena, sorry, the Champions like gallery. Um, yeah. And I think that's more of like a audience facing room. So there's like there's a lot of different zones uh, that sort of tell the whole story here. There's like this VIP lounge. You have the upper lounge and the lower lounge. Um, <laughs> there, I saw the staff sticking out a little oh, bit. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. Nice. So, I, I got Ross down, yeah. he's busted, and he's, well, he's down. So, I know that he doesn't have a lot of health left. Yeah. Um, I, I was going around seeing if I can punch some vending machines to stop the progress. In this game, I was like a little too concentrated on um, making sure I can follow up on some hits and making sure mm -hmm. I'm safe. But, uh, yeah, if I did a better job of that, I would be able to stop Ross from eating so many chocolate bars because that's the only way he's so still alive and he's yeah. still bleeding out, he's still alive. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We've really had to use like all of our resources in this game uh, yeah. to even stay in it. That's you a were good playing decision. really well. Like a micro gameplay thing you can do is that you can really deny some chocolate bars and uh, totally. pops. It's useful. Yeah. yeah. So you got another plague there, which is good. You got a power plague. So this one will refresh your uh, your cooldowns faster. Yeah, and with him, uh, what I do is, yeah, I scan, I use it, and I mm -hmm. try to get another scan as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. If I'm not in an engagement where I need to use my shocks. Right. Uh, and yeah, using a plague during an engagement is, is, is difficult, so. Right. So I you're really use... patrolling those last two stations here. You're you're staying near this one and you're scanning the other one because you know that that's our win condition. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. And so... here I go a little. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. <laughs> so, I I'm not used to seeing the the purple. Yeah, the, I was the, gonna say the purple. So yeah, I yeah, figured yeah. okay, that's totally someone just like bleeding out, and I yeah. didn't think about it. So I just. Yeah. And sometimes you just have to go for that like quick yeah. hit, um, prediction hit, yep. to make yep. sure that no one else is gonna follow up yeah, on yeah, it yeah. or bait. Yeah, pre so. pre swinging, pre unga bunga the the corner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, technical term. Thank you. Kenzie. Yeah, that's that's actually in the code. Um, yeah, it's true. Yeah, so the the actual busted um, aberration you leave behind is different, so yeah. it's easier to find you if you're busted. Yeah, I get. You did get such Ross a good up. job saving Ross. Uh, yeah, I I couldn't even get to. So I saw where Ross went. I saw where you went. Here I don't have any shocks. So I'm like spamming it. I'm like, okay, now what do I do? What do I do? And by the time I have my shots, I can, shots, see, you're way I too can far. see the icon. Yeah, blinking it's just because you're trying to spam it. Yeah, yeah. So I I lose you here. Um, that's like really good spacing from you. And then Ross did a good job of getting away too. Yeah, yeah. I think our communication was pretty good. Uh, aside yeah. from that one time I forgot to hit, or I couldn't hit the push to talk. Yeah. Um, I mean, as a monster, those, those, those times will always happen where there's like a little bit of a communication issue or somewhat of a misplay in terms of like yeah. placement or whatever. Um, and you, you have to take advantage of those. Yeah. So now I have two kills on my sleeve, uh, on my little HUD there, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which is cool. And no one's coming back for this one. I don't remember what Ross is doing here. I don't know if he's building a staff. He might just be building at uh, one of the occult stations. Yeah, so we are also getting used to playing against the busted status. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have scanned the... the um, a cult station there if i knew if you've uh, been more familiar with it yeah 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 because yeah. yeah he would be because you have the talisman uh, mm -hmm. sorry. <laughs> the enigma. Enigma. <laughs> okay yeah so he was building a staff so he here that. i shock you you're way too far and i shock ross and you're there to help so i'm like okay 
two beam weapons, what do I do? I have no yeah. shocks. So I try to fake go in here and then I quickly change targets to come here. And by yeah. the time he can react, because it's a slower weapon. Yeah. I was I was counting on it. Him repositioning to try to get an angle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But teens will have to get used to his speed when he drifts out of a corner. So Yeah, yeah, for sure. That was really cool being able to sort of fake your entries and move between them so quickly uh, and keep us guessing like where you're coming out and yeah uh, yeah it's really, really and good. it's a it's a good feeling to know that he's not useless when he doesn't have his shocks uh, um, yeah yeah his, yeah uh, totally voltage wise shots I don't think we talked about this yet, but that yellow line, uh, the yellow outline that's around me, um, mm, yeah. when you shock someone, they become overcharged uh, and they can't be re-shocked. Uh, do you want to talk about this? Or? Yeah, yeah, I do want to talk about that, actually. So you shock <laughs> up, right? You yeah. shock up through the floor and I see the shock come through. Because uh, as a teen, you can see sort of the angle um, that the shock is coming out. So I see the shock happen. I know you're below me. And so I thought you were further back than you were. I didn't think you were actually coming out of that because I thought you were uh, predicting and then going to go up the stairs around. So I jumped down to try and catch you going the other way, but I, I, you were like right there. So, yeah. Wow. Anyway. Um, that's some, that's some copium, Kenzo. You just say you misplayed it. <laughs> uh, anyway, that was fun. Uh, yeah. I really like Deathfire. His, his kid is probably my favorite so far. So mm -hmm. agile. Um, don't have to wait around for cooldowns as much as I can mm -hmm. play it at my own pace and kind of dictate the pace of the game that way, mm -hmm. which feels good as the monster player, right? Totally. So, totally. And, yeah, playing against that fire also really fun. Yeah, there's opinion. so much there's so much versatility to his kit. Like almost every ability he has can be used in in more than just one way, right? Like, um, yeah, and I think it was a good showcase that game of you being able to use your abilities in so many different situations. Um, yeah. 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 Cool. Well, thanks for watching. And, yeah, uh, thank you. Ho ho hopefully you'll get your hands on him as soon as possible.